My name is Kaito Sanagawa. I'm a 26-year-old businessman. Today, I'm out drinking with a friend from college. Oh, so you're making a lot of money from your side business now? Yeah, I make so much more now. You should try too, Kaito. No, my place doesn't allow us to have second jobs and plus, my hands are as full as it is. And besides, if I make more money, I just want to spend more. So, I don't think it'll make that much of a difference. You're right about that. I've been getting into nightclubs recently. Nightclubs? Oh, you've never been? No, it's not like I have a girlfriend, but those places just kind of scare me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought first, too. But it's nothing, really. Let's go check out one after this. D uh huh? So this is how I ended up going to my first nightclub with my friend, Tomoya. Oh, you brought your friend with you today, Tomoya? Thanks! It's his first time, so show him a good time, alright? Oh, wow. I'm really here. It's so flashy in here. I feel like I'm in a different universe. Everything was just so new to me. I was just observing the place rather than talking to the girls. And I noticed one of the girls who was talking to a staff member nearby. I couldn't take my eyes off her. Wait, that girl. Why does she look so familiar? She looks just like one of my coworkers. Kaito, is there a girl that you're interested in? Uh, interested? Um, I guess. Oh, all right then. Let's call her over. Huh? You can do that? I wasn't positive, but we called her over. And she definitely reminded me of this girl at work. Good evening. I'm Anne. Nice to meet you. She's dressed all flashy and talks way differently. But she looks just like Miss Yamamoto. But Miss Yamamoto is so quiet and plain usually. I can't imagine she'd be here. Um, is something wrong? Uh, no. Um, Miss Yamamoto? Uh, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm, yeah, it's her for sure. Yeah, I guess it's kind of awkward to run into someone from work here. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it, Anne. Oh, <laughs> no worries. That night, I drank with a totally different Miss Yamamoto. It was so weird, especially because I know how she usually was at work. But the next morning, I ran into her at work. Hey, long night? I'm impressed you can drink so late and show up to work so early in the morning. Uh, you're pretty mean, aren't you, Mr. Sunagawa? I thought you were willing to pretend like nothing ever happened after the way you acted last night. Well, that was the plan, but after seeing your face, I changed my mind. You seem sad. Stop it. I'm going to cry if you try to be nice to me right now. I'm all ears if you want to talk about it. I'll tell you. If you come back to the nightclub again. That night, I went back to the nightclub. Uh, I didn't think you'd really come. But I'm here. So, are you ready to talk? Okay. Well, actually, my boyfriend's mother is sick. He said that he needs money for his mother to get an operation. I was planning on getting married to him, so I wanted to do what I can to help his mother also. So, why would you choose to work here at night? It seems like there are other jobs that you're better suited for. My boyfriend recommended this place to me. Your boyfriend recommended a nightclub to you? <laughs> what a weird guy. If I was your boyfriend, I'd want my girlfriend to avoid working at these kinds of places at all costs. That mother, what kind of illness does she have? Have you ever visited her at the hospital? He just told me it's a difficult disease and that visitors aren't allowed, so I've never visited her. And how much does he say he needs? At least $50,000. $100,000 to be sure. Wake up, Miss Yamamoto. You're being lied to. Quit this place right now before you exhaust yourself mentally and physically. Uh, but he may not be lying to me. Then you should make sure that he's not. I can't force you to. 
if you really take your boyfriend's word for it. But still. Yeah, you may be right. I'll talk it over with him. Now that you mention it, my boyfriend has been switching jobs quite frequently, and that was partly why I was trying so hard to help out. But if I was in his shoes, I would be working more diligently. Would you like me to join you? Huh? Are you sure? Yeah. If you're in trouble, I'd like to help out Miss Yamamoto. The next day, we finished work as usual and went back to her apartment where her boyfriend was. And then, Miss Yamamoto started asking questions. Her boyfriend flipped out. Who cares if it's true or false? The more money, the better! You were working half as hard as you could! So I just helped you out, that's all! Uh, look who's talking! You don't even have a steady job! Oh, you wanna break up then? You're almost 30. You think you can find another man? You sure you just wanna spend the rest of your life single? No need to worry. Just cut him off. If you don't mind, I'd like to marry you, Miss Yamamoto. Huh? You want my dirty seconds? How pathetic! Yeah. It's quite annoying knowing that a low life like you is her ex-boyfriend. But even consider that, I still like Miss Yamamoto very much. <laughs> Mr. Sunagawa, I... Uh, I... I'm breaking up with you! Huh. Better not come crying back to me! By the way, that money Miss Yamamoto made? That's her sweat and tears. I'll be consulting a lawyer immediately. You've been lying to her and taking her money, so I'm sure that you'll be forced to pay it all back. Enjoy whatever time you have left, you piece of shit! After that, I really did contact the lawyer, and we were able to get back most of the money that Miss Yamamoto's ex-boyfriend had taken from her. And Miss Yamamoto quit working that night job. Thank you so much for everything. I don't know how I can repay you. Then be my girlfriend, please, and marry me one day. We live happily now. I hope that I can fill her memories with happy ones to make up for those bad memories that she had from all those days. I'm Daisuke Kujo. On my way to work this morning, as usual, I was about to climb up the stairs where it's always crowded. Then, somebody came falling down from above! What was that? She came falling down out of nowhere! I caught her as if by a reflex action! <laughs> oh, sorry. I got dizzy. I'm glad I was able to catch you. You should be a little more careful from now on. I'm sorry, and I definitely weigh more than you. Oh, sorry for getting dizzy and falling even though I'm fat. Uh, no, not at all. You shouldn't be sorry about any of that. As I consider myself lucky. I didn't show her. I was feeling lucky. Because she had my favorite body type. And I got to carry her in my arms. No, I really didn't show that on my face. After that, I put her back on the ground and went to work. I was thinking I was going to be able to get work feeling better than usual. Ujo san I saw you. you. You caught the heavyweight who came falling down the stairs. I was surprised you were able to catch such a fatty. Even though you're so skinny. And no, she wasn't heavy at all. One of my coworkers saw me holding her like a princess. First thing he did when he arrived was make fun of me. Stop lying. Fukuda-san, who works in the general affairs section, weighs at least 60 kilos. That's fat. She must have been heavy. Huh? Does she work here? What? You didn't even know? I'm amazed you helped her, even though you didn't know who she was. I didn't know that. So... A woman who's exactly my type is working in the same company! If we're working in the same company, I might get a chance to talk to her sometime. That's what I was thinking, and something even better happened. Could you believe it? Fukuda-san took the time to come over to me just to say thank you! Um, Kujo-san? Thank you for today. 
I hope you didn't hurt your back. Huh? No, you didn't. Really? Shouldn't you go to the hospital to get checked thoroughly? You could have a bone fractured or something. <laughs> You're exaggerating. No, I mean it. I'm so heavy. On the other hand, you're the slim type, Kujo-san. It's not like I'm trying to lose weight, though. Even though I want to, I just can't put on extra weight. Is that so? <laughs> I'm so jealous of you. Whoa! Her smile! It's super cute! Um, would you allow me to bring you out for dinner for saving me? Huh? You probably don't want to go out with a fat woman like me, right? I'm coming. I mean, please. Great. It's pretty soon, but how about tonight? I'm free. Let's meet at Starbucks in front of the station after work. I never would have imagined her coming to thank me, let alone ask me out for dinner. It was such a great delight. I felt each and every one of my cells having a standing ovation while I walked back to my desk in order to get my job done as quickly as possible. However, another guy came over to talk to me after seeing me walk with Fukuda-san. Kujo-san, I saw you being invited to dinner by that Fukuda-san. Yes, and what about that? What? It must have been difficult for you to reject an offer from a fat, negative woman. Although it's supposed to be left up to you to make the decision, it's hard to say no when you feel such pity for them. Those types of women suddenly get emotional, you know? Of course, I wouldn't mind with a cute emo girl, but it's just bothersome when such a fatty asks you out. Excuse me? I want to go back to work, so could you just leave me alone? Hey, come on! I'm here because I'm worried about you, Kujo-san. If you said yes because you felt bad for her, I was going to offer you for me to go up to the fatty and tell her to stop bothering you. Hey, could you stop making presumptions according to your own prejudices? I don't know what kind of girls you're into, but I'm not interested. But stop belittling women just because they aren't your type. Wait, what? You really are into those kinds of girls? You have bad taste, man! Honestly, she's hot as hell! And I don't need you to tell me what kind of girls I'm supposed to like. In all honesty, I think you have bad taste. During one of the meetings last month, I saw you killing time by making a tier list of all the women working here. After the meeting, you were showing that to all the other workers and asking for their opinion. A person like you, who acts like a child in grade school, obviously has worse taste than I do. Not even children should be forgiven for behaving like that. No way! Gross. For real? Creepy. Oh, so you made a tier list, huh? It would be an honor if you could present that to me. B b b b b b boss. Do you think you're really on that level where you can rank women like that? Looking at how you conduct yourself, you probably would at least be very close to the bottom of the male worker tier list. In the evening, Fukuda-san and I went out for dinner together. Fukuda-san's kind of fiddling around. Is something wrong? Huh? Sorry, what was that? Um, you look like you're uncomfortable, so... Oh, <laughs> sorry. I actually heard some rumors that you were in an argument with one of your colleagues. Huh? Have rumors spread that fast? You know, women like to gossip. And I heard that you, Kujo-san, said that I'm cute. I was so happy to hear that. Oh, yeah, I said that. Um, while we're at it, let me say this. Fukuda-san, you are really my type. And I know we just met, but I already begin to like you. Would you become my girlfriend? <laughs> are you really okay with me? I weigh 63 kilos. I love you just the way you are, Fukuda-san. That's how our relationship... That's how we began our relationship. 
We're enjoying our time together ever since. That coworker officially became the enemy of all female coworkers. He also got rejected by one of the receptionists he had a crush on. He's having a hard time at work. Anybody who judges people by their appearances, whether male or female, will be disliked. By belittling those who aren't your type, you'll be disliked by those who are your type too. My name is Haratu Kubota. I'm the chef of the grocery store department at my supermarket. I overlook everyday customer products and other small items. So, when a salesperson from a food company comes, I speak with them. But the other day, the most ridiculous salesperson showed up. Hello, I'm from Seka Seka Foods. I brought some information on our newest items. Oh, hello. Uh, did the person in charge change? Um, Miss Shintani? Nia? Uh, what? Huh? Uh, sorry. Wait a minute. Should she be introducing herself first? None of the ways I just read her name are technically incorrect. <laughs> um, that's Red Araya, all right? You can't even read that? Are you like a middle school dropout or something? <laughs> Miss Araya's first impression was terrible. Uh, I'm very sorry about that. So, you were saying? Uh, I feel insulted. I can't believe you would mistake someone's name. You should learn your manners. Whatever! Get on with it! I don't have forever! Um, did you mention new products? Huh? Uh, hurry up and choose. Wait, what? What's going on? Apparently this salesperson doesn't understand that we're the ones who choose whose products we want to put on our shelves. Oh, gosh. That attitude, like, hey, if there's something you want to sell, we'll let you order some. How arrogant. Um, what's this? Uh, can't you tell? It's milk, obviously. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, jeez. This person's gonna make a big mistake one of these days. I'm sure of it. Miss Araya went on like that. After she left, I went to the office feeling a little disappointed. Oh, Haruto, did you already meet the new salesperson? Uh, manager. Yeah, we just finished talking. It was her first time here, so she stopped by to talk to me too. But I was a little busy, so I asked her to wait her out in the store for a bit. But she was leaning up against the shelves with the sale items. And when customers were trying to look at the items behind her, she didn't even get out of the way. Yikes. That's terrible. Well, she was supposed to introduce me to new products, but all she did was hand me a catalog. I'd rather do business with someone else. Yeah, I agree. There's no point in continuing business with someone like that. Okay, it's decided then. I'll decrease our orders this time and try ordering similar products from different distributors. I decreased the order of the milk that we normally ordered from 60 to zero and just ordered a low quantity of some of the new products as a trial. But right after I sent the order form, I got a call from Miss Araya. Um, you mistook your order, by the way? You're so lucky that I caught that. You always order 60, right? I'll fix that for you. Uh, no. Um... What?! No, we're trying to stop doing business with you! I told my manager how they changed our order. He just told me to leave it be for now, and next time she came over, we would tell her directly that we were done doing business with them. However, we should have never let this slide, because 600 cartons of milk were delivered to our place! Uh, Mr. Kubota, was this milk some sort of item on sale? Uh, no. She said she would fix the order, but 600?! What the hell?! I called Miss Araya immediately. We just received 600 cartons of milk. What's going on? What? 600? Uh, no way. I put in your order for 60. Well, come look for yourself. You'll see 600 cartons of milk. <laughs> Why don't you just sell them? I mean, you already have them, right? Miss Araya, do you know the expiration date for milk? And plus, your milk isn't the only brand that we sell. And it's not like your milk is that popular in the first place. 
Ha, uh, well, that's your job, right? To sell things? Ugh, fine, fine, whatever. You want to return them? Okay. Um, how do I do this again? A cancellation form? Uh... Forget about it! We'll deal with it! I had a bad feeling that if I let Miss Araya deal with this, most of the milk would end up getting disposed of. So, I stopped her. She doesn't think about the cattle owners at all, either. But seriously, you'd think someone would notice such a ridiculous order. Well, knowing her, I'm sure she probably would have forced the order through, even if we'd brought it to her attention. <sighs> so, what's the plan, Haruto? I have friends who own restaurants, so I'll try contacting them. It might cost a little more than what they usually pay, but hopefully they'll help me out. Okay then. I'll see if I can move some of these to other stores. Thank you, manager. The manager helped move some of the milk to other stores, but we were still left with 550 cartons. I contacted my friends, and some of them agreed to buy some if I delivered it to them. And finally, we took some extreme measures at the store. Sorry, we ordered too much milk. Please, help us out. Store staff. I wish I didn't have to do this. If headquarters finds out, I'll probably get in trouble. But, it's worth the risk. I don't want this milk to go to waste. We asked our customers for help, and it worked. We were able to sell most of the milk without having to lower prices. This incident was brought up at Miss Araya's company conference. At first, Miss Araya tried to hide her mistake. So by the time they found out, we had sold most of the milk already. My manager contacted her company headquarters. And headquarters contacted her branch, and finally, her mistake was brought to light. It seems that other places had also filled complaints to their company, and it became a big problem. Haruto! Yesterday was your day off, right? Yesterday, a higher-up from Seka Seka Foods came and apologized, and told me that Miss Araya had been fired. Oh, that's not surprising! They want to continue doing business with us, but I refuse. I mean, there must be a problem with the company as a whole for hiring such a monster like her, right? I have to hold them accountable as well. Yeah, you're right. Later, I heard that the cattle owner who was providing milk for Seka Seka Foods switched distributors. I can't blame them. I'd be pretty mad if someone was being so irresponsible with my sweat and tears too. And I received a letter of appreciation. The letter said, How would you like to take my daughter as your wife? And included a picture of a gorgeous young lady. Right now? I'm seriously considering it! She's so my type! I'm Riku Sato. I'm a teacher at a cooking school. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a chef, like my uncle. I studied abroad in Italy for about four years. I even won some cooking competitions there. Two years ago, my uncle, who was a teacher at a cooking school, got sick. So I took his place. Teaching was really fun and rewarding. Mmm. Almost done. My special stew! Uh, it's raining. I thought it wasn't gonna rain today. Uh, gotta take in the laundry. What the? What's that smell? It smells so bad! What the hell? Where is that coming from? I walked out of my room. Looks like it was coming from the room next door. I rang the doorbell. Yes? Ah! Um, hi. Uh, I'm Sato. I live next door. I think there's a gas leak or something. Everything okay? Yikes! Oh, sorry. I was cooking, but I think I overcooked it. What on earth is that? I've never seen anything like it! Um, what is that? I was trying to make some pasta. Oh! I know, it's bad. I don't know what happened. I tried using a torch to make it crispy, but... A torch? Why? I saw it on TV or something. This chef was using a torch to make the meat extra crispy or something. Uh, not sure that works for pasta. If you wanted to melt the cheese on top, maybe, but... From the looks of it, I think you burnt the whole thing. Yeah. Hey, what's that smell? It smells so good. It's coming from your room. Ah, uh, I was cooking too. It smells so good. You must be really good at cooking. 
Yeah, actually, I'm a teacher at a cooking school, so... What? My savior! Um, could you help me, please? I need to learn how to cook by next month. Please, help me! What? Uh, hold on. Here, let's talk inside. Her name was Imoto. I let her in. I moved into the city last month. I want to become an actress, and I got this gig coming up next month. Sounds amazing! Yeah, but it's for a cooking show, and... Cooking show? I know what you're thinking, but it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I gotta make a name for myself. But if they find out that I can't cook, I won't even make it past the auditions. This is my chance to be on TV. I really need this. I think it'll be pretty funny if she makes that burnt pasta on TV, but... I don't know. I'm sure you'll do fine. You're really creative, so... No! Please! I want to be able to make something like this! The stew is amazing! Please, teach me! Stew? Uh, stew takes pretty long to prepare, so you might want something else for TV. Oh, I see. Well, can you teach me? I'll pay you! Huh? Uh, but I work during the day and I come home pretty late. You okay with that? Yes, I'll wait! Please? Uh, sure, I, I guess. Let's give it a shot. Thank you! And so, I started teaching her how to cook. I decided to teach her how to make pasta first. I taught her everything from scratch. She tried to improvise here and there, but I stopped her. She had to get the basics down first. A month later, the day was finally here. She was auditioning for that TV show. Hope it all works out. I'm so worried. Emoto? Sato, I won! I came in second place! Oh, cool! Second place, huh? Well, actually, I came in first place. It was a tie, so... They made us cook an omelette as a tiebreaker. But since I only knew how to make pasta, I made something really terrible, but... <laughs> but they loved it! The director loved the fact that the only thing I could make was pasta, and he gave me another gig. Oh, good to hear. Congrats! It's all thanks to you. Thank you for everything. Oh, and... Can you teach me to make other stuff too? I want to learn more about cooking. Sure thing. Sounds good. And so, I kept teaching her how to cook. It wasn't easy teaching her how to cook after working all day long, but I really enjoyed spending time with her. I guess I really liked her. Recently, I started cooking for her on the weekends. This is delicious. I wish my future husband can cook like this. Oh, ha 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 ha. I'm serious! This is amazing! Oh, he's just so perfect. I love him so much! I really want to ask him out, but... I don't know. Forget it. I'm gonna ask him out right now! I'm Harito Fujiwara. I'm in 10th grade. I have a huge scar on my face, from the top left all the way down to the right. This happened when I was in elementary school. Whoa! The water has increased so much because of yesterday's rain! Right? So many things are floating in there. I just caught a shoe using this stick. Huh? You're fishing for objects that are in the river? That's dangerous! No worries. I'm careful not to fall in. But my mom always tells me to not come to the river after it rains. The teacher said so too. Hey, I see something coming our way. It looks like a magazine for adults. Oh, come on. Let's go and play somewhere else. We can play football at the park. <laughs> Yuki! I jumped into the river without even thinking. I was pretty big for a fifth grader. I was also in a swimming school, so I was confident enough to save him. However, I didn't take my clothes or shoes off, and it quickly got caught up in the waves. After that, I don't remember what happened. But all I was thinking about was saving Yuki's life. When I regained my consciousness, I was lying in bed in the hospital with half my face covered in bandage. Stupid Haruto, why did you jump in too? You should have searched for an adult. There wasn't enough time for that. 
My god, I was so worried. Just to let you know, the doctor told me that the scar on your face will remain. I don't mind that. Apparently, I was holding onto a tree trunk close to the riverside with a bloody face when I was rescued. But I don't have any memories about that. The story how I was trying to protect Yuki even after I lost my consciousness gave me the nickname Benke at school. Benke, are you playing football? Count me in. All right. Now everyone calls you Benke. Sorry, Haruto. If I'm Benke, you must be Ushiwakamaru. Should we start calling you that? No, stop it. Yuki and I were still good friends. However, due to my father's job, I had to change schools in sixth grade. That's how Yuki and I got separated from each other. The first thing anyone asked me was about my scar. All of the boys understood me when I told them that I fell in a river. The girls always stayed away from me, but I didn't care. Even in mangas, characters with scarred faces are usually the cool ones. I never really had a tough time because of my scar before I became a high school student. However, recently, one of my classmates bluntly hates on my scar, and I've been having a hard time. Hey, Fujiwara, stop showing me your face. Just looking at it makes me feel the pain. I wouldn't be able to walk around without hiding it. Then don't look at me! The selfish girl, Karen Nakai, acts as if she's the school queen bee. She always hates on my face in an exaggerated way. <laughs> she complains whenever she sees my face. And for some reason, I'm the one who's supposed to avoid her. <sighs> sure, people have stated how painful it looks, but everybody tried to not make a big deal about it. On one such day, our class had a new transfer student, who apparently was super handsome. On that day, I had a game of basketball, so I was absent. One of my friends sent me a message. A handsome guy, who's a fashion model, who turns out to have a really rich family, has become our classmate. I guess we're all done. Wow, the girls are gonna love him. On the next day, I went to school to meet this transfer student. Morning, Haruto. How did yesterday go? We came in second place. Oh, that's tough luck. Haruto? It's... It's Haruto! That scar! It's you, right? Is this guy the transfer student? It's me, Yuki! Long time no see! I really missed you! It had been four years since we last saw each other. Since that happened, Yuki followed me around everywhere. We had a lot to catch up on, but he wasn't spending much time with his new classmates. As I expected, one of the girls was really disappointed about this. Of course, that was Karen Nakai. Hey, Fujiwara, stop keeping Yuki-kun all to yourself. Huh? If you have something to talk to him about, you can just talk to him. I told you I don't like seeing your face. I'm not into horror movies, you know. Am I a zombie or something? Why do you dislike Haruto's face? Oh, Yuki. Huh? Um, you see, he has such a huge scar. It's just uncomfortable to look at. How about you, Yuki-kun? Don't you think he shouldn't be so confident with such a scar? He almost seems like he's proud of it. It's just so creepy. What's so wrong about being confident? Is there a problem? I think it's a cool thing. By the way, Haruto got this scar from saving my life. I wouldn't even exist without this scar. Stop talking down on his bravery without even knowing anything. S sorry Yuki-kun. If you're sorry, you should apologize to Haruto. I hate girls who look down on Haruto. Never talk to me ever again. Karen Nakai never made fun of me ever since then. She used to think that she was the center of the world. That's probably why she wanted to talk with Yuki in the first place. However, Yuki didn't forgive her for what she was doing. And she stopped acting arrogantly in class. I never thought we would be going home together from school like this. It never occurred to me that we could stay in touch by writing letters and stuff. I thought we would meet again someday. I thought you would make contact with me someday, if I became famous. You know, I didn't have your contacts either, so that was the only way I could come up with. No, you've changed so much since then, I would have never recognized you on the magazine or TV. Really? Duh. You were a cute little kid back then. 
didn't imagine you'd grow up to look like that. We're lucky to be in the same school, just by pure coincidence. I was happy how Yuki said my scar was cool. Now, I think I like my scar even more than I used to before. I'll probably always feel proud about it until the day that I die. I'm Koki Fukui. I'm a typical nerd. The other day, I turned 20. Now I'm in college. Ah, Koki. You're all grown up. Finally, we get to drink together. Oh, okay. I'm so proud of you, Koki. When mom left with that guy, you were only seven. I was pretty nervous about raising a kid of my own, but... He must be drunk. He rarely talks about mom. Just don't drink too much, Dad. You're not that young anymore. Oh, come on now. I still got it. Unlike you, I got a girlfriend. Hey, that reminds me. Um, can I ask you something? Wait, what? A girlfriend? Uh, sure. What is it? Can I get remarried? Uh, sure. Sure! Why ask me? You don't need my permission. Oh, good to hear. I guess I just wanted to wait until you turn 20. I'll bring her over tomorrow. I was pretty excited to meet my new mom. But then, I was shocked when I met her. Hello, I'm Erica. I guess I'm your stepmom now. Nice to meet you. Ah! She's so young! Huh? This? Is your girlfriend? Yup. Uh, how old are you? If you don't mind me asking. 22. She's only two years older than me? We're officially married now. She's moving in with us. She'll help us with things around the house, so... That'll give you more time to hang out with your friends and stuff. And so, my new 22-year-old mom moved in with us. She was pretty outgoing. She always walked around with nothing but a towel on. And she's always flirting with my dad. But it was none of my business. I tried to leave them alone at first, but something happened. Where are my clothes? Koki, sorry. I got your clothes right here. Ah! I got these just for you. I think it'll look really good on you. Oh, I also got you a new bag. Don't just walk into my room like that! What happened to my old clothes? Huh? Oh, I sold them. Why? Uh huh, because they were super lame. Ugh. Ugh. I wish you would just leave me alone. Who cares about what I wear? Uh. You okay? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Uh, you okay? Why is she staring at me? Nothing. Thank you. Uh, okay? It's been a while since I talked to a girl my age. Well, there's my new mom, but she doesn't count. Oh, he was so handsome. What should I do? A few weeks went by, but I still couldn't get used to my new life with my new mom. This song is sick. Listen. She played pop music during dinner and forced me to listen. Then she put up signs all over the house titled, How to Get Girls. One, confidence is everything. Two, talk from your heart. Three, dress nicely. Four, always brush your teeth. And it went on and on like that. What the hell is this? Why is she doing this? But thanks to her, I started recognizing songs on the radio. And she taught me how to treat girls. Oh, I know that song. Oh, sorry, I'll turn it down. It's cool, we're on break anyways. Nice pencil case. You like pandas? Ah, uh, yeah. They're so cute. I just can't get enough of them. You want this then? What? That's adorable! It came with a bottle of water I got this morning. Here, take it. What? Really? Thank you. Can I buy you coffee or something? What? Oh, it's fine. Really. But a few days ago, you helped me when I dropped my books. At least let me buy you coffee. Uh, okay. Here's my number. Thanks! Her name was Yuri. She was so pretty. We started hanging out. It didn't take long for me to fall in love with her. Then... Yuri! Will you go out with me? What? Me? You sure? 
You're really handsome and nice. All the girls love you. You sure you want to date me? What? I had no idea. But I don't care. You're all I care about. So, will you be my girlfriend? Oh, Koki. She said yes. I now had a girlfriend. I've never had a girlfriend in my life. So this came as a surprise to me. I guess I have my new mom to thank for this. Hey, um, I got a girlfriend. Uh huh. Oh, awesome. I just wanted to thank you. You taught me well. But uh, why did you help me anyways? Well, I couldn't have you falling in love with me, you know what I'm saying? I may be young, but I'm still your stepmother, so... Takuma means everything to me, you know? I didn't want to take any chances. Wait, so you were doing all of this for yourself? Of course. What the hell? But still, she did help me. I wouldn't have a girlfriend if it wasn't for her. So, I guess it's cool. She's so young. <laughs> and now that I was dating Yuri, she kept giving me advice on dating, even though I never asked for it. Since I knew nothing about dating girls, it was actually pretty helpful. Excuse me, would I be rude to ask for this handwritten P.O.P. display? Huh? Not the book, but the P.O.P.? I'm Kokio Tagiri. I work part-time at a bookstore in the shopping mall. So, should I put it back? I just really like this P.O.P. Hmm... You can have it. I'll make it again. Oh, did you make these? Oh. Yes. Nobody really complimented me about them, so... If you're happy with such drawings, you can have them. The lady bought the book that the P.O.P. was recommending. I was so happy to get nice words for my drawing. I'm home. You're late, as usual. There's no food for you. Eat whatever you make yourself. I know. I'm home. Oh, weren't you on a date with Sakura-chan today? She started saying that I wasn't being kind to her. I was irritated, so I left her. Oh my, what a terrible girlfriend. I'm hungry. Mom, could you whip something up for me? All right, wait a moment. Oh, you're here, loser brother. Why didn't you go to college like me instead of working odd jobs? Oh, sorry. That's something impossible when you're a loser, right? Exactly, Daisuke. Although, I feel sorry for him being compared to you because you got into T University. Since I was a kid, I always loved to draw. Therefore, I always wanted to become an illustrator. However, my parents refused to support me to go to an illustrator school, and that's why I chose to be a part-timer. On the other hand, Daisuke, who's two years younger than me, was always good at everything. Not only studying and playing sports, but he also had good looks. It was clear that he was our parents' favorite. Each time I brought my portfolio to publishers, they say I don't have enough originality. Therefore, I was so happy that the lady complimented my P.O.P. One week later... Um, thank you for the other day. Oh, no problem. Uh... Um, I know I'm being a little shameless, but could I ask you for the other P.O.P.s too? I really love all the P.O.P.s in this store! Huh? Other ones too? Uh, um, okay. I'll hand them to you when we close tonight. Yes, if you're fine with that. Who could have imagined this to happen? I redrew all of them during my break time. Honestly, I was so happy. After work, here are the P.O.P.s. If you're happy with such drawings. <laughs> Again, that line. Huh? These aren't such drawings? I asked for them because they are so lovely. You should have more confidence in yourself. Um, would you allow me to get you perhaps a cup of coffee? I know a cafe nearby that's still open. That's how I first met my girlfriend, Alyssa Egawa. Alyssa-san is one year older than me and works in an office. On the other hand, I'm a part-time worker who never went to college. Sometimes I wonder if she should really be dating me. But when I say that to her, she always scolds me. One month later. Huh? You want to see my artwork? Yes, I'm confused why your drawings aren't appreciated enough. 
So, can I come over to your place someday? Honestly, I wasn't ready for this. Normally it would be an exciting situation for your girlfriend to come to your place, but... Alright, so this is your room. Hmm, I... okay. What does she mean by okay? Oh, who's that beauty? Don't tell me she's your girlfriend. Whoa! I didn't want this to happen! Who are you talking to, Daisuke? Oh. Loser bro has a woman in his room. Excuse me for bothering you. I'm Elisa. Hi, I'm Daisuke. I study at T University. Unlike my loser brother. Nice to meet you. By the way, why don't we go out on a date? I don't even have a partner right now. Huh? What do you think you're saying? She's my- Nah, you're not on her level. It must be embarrassing to walk around with this guy. I think it would be good for you to move to a better property. <laughs> Indeed. This must be some kind of fate. Why don't you start going out with Daisuke? No need to worry about Daisuke. Exactly. You're just wasting your time being with my loser brother. <laughs> what are they saying? I'm also... Are you dumb? I don't know why you're being so cocky. But why would I ever consider a guy who's not likable at all? Is your brain rotten? Huh? I hate the guts of people like you who slander their family members. Please, get out of my sight right now! And you too. Koki is your own son. Don't you even think that your son is so cute? His brother is a piece of trash, and you're standing up for him. Are you insane? What? Now I understand why Koki always torments himself. I can't let him stay here anymore. We're moving out. Huh? We need to pack up. Please, get out of this room. Um, Alyssa san Sorry, I couldn't hold myself back. But I truly believe that you should leave this place. You can come stay at my place. <sighs> Alyssa san And that's how Alyssa san and I started living together. My life began to change for the better. I gradually got job opportunities from publishers for book cover design. It was all thanks to Alyssa. See? Your POPs are going viral all over social media! Wow. I never knew that. The reactions I get at Publisher and at Pixiv aren't so good. I think your drawings themselves aren't super original, so that may be the reason. But when it comes to your POPs, you can really see how much you want to recommend the books. Maybe, creating something totally new and enhancing something's value requires two different type of talents. Why don't you try drawing book cover style pictures? She was exactly on point. I'm so lucky that I happened to meet her. Apparently, Daisuke got into some trouble with a woman and got sued. I got a phone call from my mother asking for help. I heard you're getting a lot of work to do recently. Couldn't you help us out a little so we can come to an out of court settlement? Uh, you know how useless I am, right? Koki, I've said so many terrible things to you. It was the wrong thing to do as a mother. Therefore... Daisuke's such a genius, he'll be able to take care of himself. Until I met her, I considered myself to be bad at everything. But she proved me wrong. Somebody out there will appreciate your work. For me, she was the one who found me. And I'm going to cherish her forever. I'm Riku. People say I'm a pretty laid-back guy. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's not. Either way, I was just going about my day as usual. Oh, car trouble? You idiot! You left the lights on! The battery's dead! What are you gonna do about it? I'm sorry, sir! I forgot! Um, need some help? Huh? What are you looking at? Um, yeah, our battery's dead. We have a lady with us, too, so we don't know what to do. Um, thank you, stranger. Oh, that sucks. Want me to jumpstart the car? Oh, that would be so helpful. Do you know how? No, but I'll just Google it. <laughs> I looked up how to jumpstart a car. 30 minutes later, the car was working again. Oh, thank you. Glad it worked. Oh, want some cold drinks? I just came back from the supermarket. I completely forgot I had them in my trunk. Here, you're very kind. Thank you. Um, thank you, stranger. I should have remembered earlier. It must have been hot in there. Sorry for taking so long to notice. The girl told me to give her my number so she could send me something later to thank me for everything. 
So, I did. Anyways, two scary looking guys driving with a pretty girl like that. Hmm, who are they anyways? But a few hours later, I completely forgot about it all. I didn't do much and she was probably just being polite. But then, the next day, they actually showed up at my house. The girl from yesterday and four scary looking guys. Thank you so much for yesterday. Here's a token of our appreciation. Also, we want you to go out with Miss Misa. She fell in love with you. You should be honored. Huh? You really want to go out with me? Yes. I've never felt this way before. My family is Yakuza, but if it's okay with you... I think there's more than enough cash in there. But if you need more, just say the word. Uh, I'm sorry, but I, I can't accept this money. First of all, all I did was jumpstart your car. This is too much for something like that. And besides, you already thanked me yesterday, so that's that. No need to pay me. And as for Miss Misa, I don't want to go out with someone for money. <coughs> hey, kid. You really think you can say no to us? Huh? Well, if you're asking me to date someone for money, yeah, I'm gonna say no. You little... Stop it. <laughs> I'm impressed. Normally, people are frightened by us Yakuza. Yesterday when you helped us, did you realize we were Yakuza? Um, no. I didn't really think about it. So you just found out today, but you didn't even flinch. That's another thing I like about you. So, it's a no? You don't want to go out with a girl from a Yakuza family? No, that's not it. If you really want, we can give it a shot. And I don't want to judge someone based on their family business. Uh, such a gentleman. I didn't really put much thought into it, but I decided to give it a shot. I was now dating a girl named Misa from a Yakuza family. Misa-san was pretty and kind. I, I really enjoyed spending time with her. But she always had bodyguards around her, and they were always watching us through security cameras. Then, one day, we ran into my sister. Hey, is this your girlfriend? Yeah, this is Misa. Uh, hey, I don't know if you noticed, but those guys, they've been following you. Oh, no worries. Misa-san's family is Yakuza. They're her bodyguards. They're here to protect her. Wait, you're dating someone from a Yakuza family? Uh, yeah. What? Why? Those people are dangerous. You're gonna get hurt or something. Hey, stop being rude. It doesn't matter what her family business is. Or what, do you ask your boyfriend what his parents do for a living every time? I'm dating Misa-san because I like being with her. What her family does is irrelevant. Uh, uh, oh, wow. <sighs> but it's the Yakuza. Normal people would be frightened. My brother, he's too laid back. Later, I made my sister apologize to her. And we went on our way. Sorry. Hey, Riku-san. You're such a gentleman. One day, I'll cut ties with my family. When I do, let's get married. Sure, but I'll still have to meet your parents if we're going to get married. Riku-san. He's such a gentleman. Uh, I love him so much. <laughs> I don't like to overthink. But I like that about myself. Worrying too much doesn't really help. You should always try things first. Things usually work out in the end. If I said no to Misa-san just because she was from a Yakuza family, I would have never realized what a great person she is. By the way, I found out later that I was on the police watch list ever since I started dating Misa-san. Apparently, they keep an eye on everyone affiliated with Yakuza members. That means her bodyguards weren't the only ones watching us when we were out on dates. But, we weren't breaking any laws, so, I don't really mind. Hi, I'm Kaito Hasegawa. Right now, I'm having the time of my life. Why, you ask? It's because I'm on a date with my super beautiful girlfriend. Hikaru-san, don't hesitate to let me know whenever you want to stop somewhere. Okay, thanks for your consideration. This is Hikaru Washumiya. We met on our college campus. It was love at first sight. And finally, I asked her out on a date. I already couldn't believe it that she agreed to date me. But it's even more unbelievable that I'd actually be on a date with her. Today, 
It's gonna be the best date ever. I'm gonna show her my safe driving techniques. Our destination is an aquarium, which is one hour ride from here. It's a little far away, but I never get tired of talking to Hikaru-san. This is gonna be a fun ride. Uh, or, uh, so I thought, until someone hit us from behind at a red light. No way! We got rear-ended! Are you okay, Hikaru-san? Uh, yes. It, it wasn't much, but your car is probably damaged, right? I'll be right back. I'm gonna talk to the person behind us. It could have been a worse day to have this happen! Once I got out of the car, the other driver also came out. Hey! What the hell? You damaged my car! Crap! A delinquent? What? He ran into me! But somehow he's angry? But you ran into us! Shut up! Just hand over your money! Ten thousand dollars, and I'll forgive you! What? I mean, it's totally your fault! I had a car stopped at a red light! It was already green, you dumbass! What the hell are you thinking, just sitting there? If you hit the gas when you're supposed to, this wouldn't have happened! Okay, I'm just gonna call the police. You're trying to get me arrested now, huh? Oh! It's just common sense to call the police and insurance companies in this kinds of situations. I'm in a hurry! No time to be waiting around for the police! Just let me know if you're paying me or not! But that's so selfish of you. Shall I call the police? Oh! You've got a girl in there! That's pretty annoying. Shall I make the price two on a thousand? Ta! You don't want to be pathetically beaten up in front of your girlfriend. You know what the smart choice is, right? Oh no! It seems like there really is no point in talking to you. You think your cheap intimidation is going to make us pay you that amount of money? Karu-san! Why would you have fuel to the fire like that? Huh? Who do you think you're talking to? Who do you think you are talking to, little punk? What the? Hey! Come over here, guys! No! Here comes more of them! Seems like there isn't a choice anymore. Uh, Karu-san, you're all right. What? I'm not gonna let these guys lay a single finger on you. Hi, Tokun. Hey, leader. Look at those guys walking towards us. Huh? What? Hey, you. Uh, huh? M me? Yes, you. What do you think you're doing to the daughter of our boss? Huh? The daughter of who? What? So foolish of you. If you just let us call the police, we could have taken care of matters legally. But you chose to handle things in your own way. So now we're doing the same. Of course, you're ready for it, right? Ah! Although, a simple apology won't solve the problem anymore. No! I'm sorry! My goodness! Hikaru-san is the daughter of the Yakuza? <laughs> sorry! Cut out that weeping and whining right now! Um, what's gonna happen to those guys now? Yeah, I might start off by bringing them into the mountains. Um, I actually have a suggestion. Why don't you let your guys go home and just call the police? Uh, huh? I'm fine if we can just get the police to handle the accident and the insurance company to deal with the money. Uh, Kaito-kun, you're so merciful. If you say so, Kaito, let's do it your way this time. After that, I called the police. For some reason, the delinquents wouldn't stop crying. And the police were confused. But they listened to what they were told to do. So it was over and done with quickly. <laughs> Hikaru-san and I continued our date. With a slightly dented car. We lost a lot of time there. Should we go to the aquarium another day? On another day? I don't think we'll have enough time to enjoy it today. You just want to go home, don't you? Huh? There isn't going to be another day, is there? What the... Wait! What's wrong, Hikaru-san? I quickly stopped the car at a nearby convenience store to listen to what Hikaru had to say. What's wrong, Hikaru? But... but you saw me back there, right? Uh-huh. You know now that my father's a Yakuza boss. Uh... yes. I guess. You don't want to be dating a daughter of a Yakuza, right? Oh, that's what you're worried about? Yes. It was also to keep you out of harm's way but I honestly didn't want you to find out. Um, can I just say my honest feelings? Yes. You were so cool back there, I was in awe. Uh-huh. Of course, the only impression that I have of the Yakuza is that they're scary people, so I'm still confused. But seeing you standing your ground against all those delinquents was so cool. All I can say is, 
And I'm glad I fell in love with you. Uh, really? Yes! Uh, thank you so much. I'm not going to let you down for dating me. I'll warn all the guys in the clan. The warn If they ever cause any trouble for you, it's either going to be or well, It's something you should be talking about with a smile on your face. But if Hikaru-san says so, they probably aren't going to cause much trouble at all. And after all of that, our relationship continued on. Just a few days ago, I was finally able to take her to the aquarium. She is the daughter of a Yakuza boss, but our relationship will continue to be pretty normal, as long as we never encounter such foolish delinquents again. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.